Oh. Watch where you're going. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So. I was talking to the skipper of the Julianne. And in long hauls up and down the coast, I was looking for jobs. Oh, you moving away, eh? Hopefully, if I get the work. Oh, well, that's good. Are you sure you're all right? In your own time, Jeffries. <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Look, I'm just running late for work. Good luck, eh? Hey, we still. Oh, you got to be kidding. Someone called the cops. We had a call reporting an assault. Assault? Uh, it was just a little love pattern. Looks like more than that to me. Uh, it's because he's soft. It's OK. It was my own fault. What did you say? Sit down, lean forward, keep pinching. Are you OK, Eddie? Uh, yeah, it's fine. It just looks back because of the blood. Still, I think we should take you to get checked out. You're kidding, aren't you? We'll be back later to talk to you as well, so don't go anywhere, understood? Couldn't go anywhere if I wanted to. No crew left. Let's go. <sighs> I'm sorry, mate. It's OK, slugger. Sort yourself out. See you back here tomorrow, OK? So what was it all about, anyway? Just me being stupid. Who gave you the tip, anyway? Joey. Well, it's nice of her, but she needn't bother. So, have you seen much of her lately? Is she okay? Mm. Today was the first time I've seen her in a while, but she seemed all right. I think she's going on a long haul anyway. Right. Listen, I better get going, but sure I can't take you to the hospital? <laughs> I'm already going to cop enough grief. Well, if I go to the hospital with a female cop, I'm going to get hammered. Okay, fine. Stay out of trouble. All right. I'll try. Ouch. You should see the other guy. Oh, wait, you did, but you still called the cops. Just in case you didn't stop headbutting his fist. Good joke. <laughs> yeah, come in. So, seriously, you looked upset before. And I thought, you've been there for me in the past. It's time to return the favour. Fair enough. So what's going on? Honestly, I don't even know where to start. Gibsy said something about Belle that just set me off. Belle's been having some problems lately and she got taken to rehab last night. I have no idea where, I don't even know how she is and I'm not even sure if I want to know. God, Aiden, I had no idea that Belle had a drug problem. Yeah, trust me. It's a long story. So, what about you? Got your job lined up? Gotta go and check in with the boss in an hour. Yeah? Long haul, eh? That's a lot of time away from home. Yeah, well, there's nothing holding you here. So what about you and Charlie? I mean, doesn't she need you here for the witness in the court case? I don't know. Haven't really found out about that yet. What's going on with you and Charlie? Why do you ask? Well, I thought you guys were friends and you were living together. But Charlie's asking all these questions about you like she has no idea. And obviously you haven't caught up with her for a while. She was asking about me? Yeah. So what's up with you two? Nothing. She's just being a good cop, that's all. She was there for me with all of the Robbo things and, you know, now he's in jail, I've moved out. I don't know, I guess we were just never really great friends. Oh. Charles, what's going on? Sorry, I didn't tell you. Tell me what? Xavier's just confessed that it was Brendan who caused the accident to Leah's car, and he's kept it from everyone. What? Did you know about this? That's news to me. Right, well, with Brendan's condition, it's a complex situation. And as the boy's guardian, I think it's probably best if you come with us to the station for an interview. Yeah, right, I'll just grab my keys. You did the right thing by speaking up. Okay, we'll be in touch. Not just this time, I'd be careful in future if I were you. 
How's Aiden? He's okay. And you've got him to thank for the fact that we're not charging you. Just keep your fist to yourself from now on, okay? Not a problem. Uh, why don't you go on without me? I just want to have a quick chat with our witness. Zoe. Please don't ignore me. I'm working. Right, well, you called the police, so I'm just following it up. Right. Joey, please, Joey. Listen, I thought we parted as friends. I don't think you understand just how badly you broke my heart. I do. Because I broke mine as well. Charlie. I'm coming! I don't have anything to say to you right now. I'm not here to see you. I'm here to see Leah. She's in the lounge. Go straight through. Thanks. What are you doing here? That conversation that we started? We need to finish it. Look, I can't hear the house is in chaos at the moment. Okay. So come out with me now. Tell me what you meant. If you say no, we won't have another chance, Charlie. I was offered a job today, and if I take it, I leave tomorrow. Guys, I'm heading out for a while. I'm scared. This might seem shallow to you, but I'm worried what it's going to mean for my position at work. And my family, my friends, and Ruby. How are they going to look at me? Be embarrassed to be with me? No, you know what I mean. You're oversimplifying it. That's because for me it is simple. Because I don't care what anyone else thinks. Yeah, but maybe that's because you don't have as many responsibilities as I do. I don't want to go through my life wondering about what could have been. If we'd just stopped worrying about it and done what was right with us. Charlie, when I saw you at the wharf today, I could hardly breathe. That's what always happens to me when you're around. I thought that you hated me this morning. Are you serious? I'm in love with you. I think I'm in love with you too. What are we gonna do about it? Do you wanna be with me? Next time on Home Gay, okay, Charlie, so don't even think about going there. I don't know what I am. It must have been really hard for her to tell you this.